Our message affirmation is everything I do is a gift I give or receive. And it absolutely is. And this is a wonderful time of year to talk about this because there are so many things that we do in life that we think are uh, simple mundane activities and we don't realize the giving that we are putting forth in doing them or uh, the gift that we're receiving when other people do things for us. And in fact, <clears throat> it's interesting to think uh, all of us every day, millions of times, have a wonderful giving and receiving going on because uh, inside of us, our cells are splitting and are creating. And of course, for that to happen, one cell needs to give up part of itself for the other cell to be created. And this other cell, of course, is receiving. And so we have within us just on a molecular level, all of this giving and receiving going on every day, every day, every day, all throughout the day. And so this is a wonderful place to start from when we think of ourselves as being people who give and people who receive different gifts. And uh, a gift can be the simplest thing, uh, the gift of uh, mowing the lawn or taking out the trash. Even if we think about education, uh, the educator is giving a gift. The student is giving their commitment. That's a gift. So in all of these things and all of these different activities that we do in our daily lives, these are gifts that we are giving or receiving. And so it's so important to stop and, and to take stock of that and to realize that and understand what a wonderful, wonderful thing this is, all these gifts that we are giving and getting and receiving every day. Uh, because as we go into the holiday season, we think so much of gifts as, uh, you know, we go to the store and... Um, purchase the new uh, blender or scarf or shirt or shoes or, you know, whatever wonderful thing that you're going to give to your loved ones. And we uh, wrap them up and we put them under the tree. And, and this is what we envision and we know is a gift. And of course, that is a gift of a kind. But there's so many things that we do in our daily lives and so many things things that we receive in our daily lives from all of those around us that are gifts that it's important to uh, realize and take stock of. Just as Christ himself was a gift, he came to give of himself. Our scripture lesson today from uh, Matthew 20, 28 was, even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life as a ransom for many. So we know that Christ's whole existence, his whole time here, was a gift, a gift to mankind and a gift that uh, is never-ending. We learn so much, and every day in every way, uh, we, especially as New Thought students, we uh, learn to follow Christ the way shower and to be wonderfully blessed by all of the gifts that he gave us in terms of these things that we've learned, in terms of the fact that we know that we are meant to have these lives of great happiness and great health and great prosperity, and it's all right there for us, and we we know that Jesus the way shower has told us that it all begins here in our mind that we have control over everything that happens in this whole world in our whole existence everything begins in our mind and everything is a gift and it begins with this gift of knowing and understanding that everything we do and everything that is done for us is a gift that we are either giving or receiving <laughs> And so when we talk about our goal for this upcoming week, and that is to start thinking of everything that you do as either a gift you are giving or a gift you're receiving. Now, that's something wonderful to stop and reflect on. And even, I bet, uh, when we leave here today, when you go home, think about uh, some chores around the house that you'll either do or that uh, maybe another member of your family is going to do for you. And what a wonderful gift that is. And so often these things happen, and we take them for granted or we don't see it as a gift. We see like, uh, you know, so many parents, you assign chores to your children. That's your, that's your chore. You go and do that. And it's wonderful to take stock and to sit back and realize that this is a gift. You're receiving this gift in the act of this chore, but you're also giving the gift because you're instilling these wonderful values in your children and also in your family, in your different members of your family. And so when we uh, go forth and think of all these things throughout the week, 
Think of everything that you're doing as either giving or receiving a gift because all of these things are gifts. And when we think about this, because so often, especially when it comes to Christmas time and to giving gifts, we think of the deserving and the undeserving. And a lot of us as humans in our natural human state, uh, we know as we talk about so much, we're spiritual beings, but we live a human existence. And in our human existence, we get pulled into this thought process that, well, you know what, so-and-so wasn't very nice to me this year. They're not deserving, so I'm not going to give them a gift, or I'm not going to show them kindness. I'm not going to show gratitude because I think that they're undeserving. And of course, when we talk about Christ the way shower and seeing him as this great example for us by which to lead our lives, we know that he found everyone deserving. Everyone was deserving. And as we talk about, he loved the seemingly unlovable. He respected the seemingly unrespectable. He reached out to those that society otherwise cast aside and showed them great love and great respect. And indeed, in all things, he found them just as deserving of his gifts as anybody else. And so this is a wonderful time to to stop and, and take stock of that. Of course, I'm not saying that... the kid who stole your bicycle, you should go out and buy him a Porsche next week, but (laughs) certainly in terms of the gift of the gift of forgiving, the gift of understanding, the gift of realizing that everyone is deserving. Everyone is deserving. Because when we talk about being at this point where maybe we look around and we find the undeserving and we don't give, equate this to things in nature like uh, an apple tree. The apple tree doesn't care who comes and takes the apples. The apple tree just continues to produce them. And in fact, if there were some consciousness in something like an apple tree and it said, I'm not going to produce, it would wither and die. Because by not giving, by not giving out this gift, it Uh, doesn't go through its natural cycle. So we as humans, as we go through this process in our daily lives, and especially as we go through the holiday season, and that's coming up, and whether it's a a neighbor, a co-worker, a a pesky person, an annoying in-law, there's somebody that uh, we find a challenge. And when it comes time to thinking of giving a gift, even just the gift of forgiveness or the gift of understanding or the gift of communication. That oftentimes is such a wonderful gift to sit and listen to somebody. So many people love the opportunity to sit and tell their story. And that in turn is a gift. They're sharing their story with you. So when we think about all of the things as you sit and uh, prepare your list and uh, think of who's on the naughty list and who's on the nice list, scratch off those columns. Just everybody is worthy. There is, everybody is worthy of receiving the gifts. And of course, like I said, you don't have to go out and buy everybody a Porsche, and that's probably not an option for most of us. But certainly, you know what, the gift of forgiveness and the gift of understanding and the gift of compassion and the gift of listening and uh, understanding and being there. And these, of course, at the end of the day, are the most valuable gifts of all, far more than any physical thing you can give somebody. So when you go start your week tomorrow, you look in the mirror as you're getting ready, and say, you know, I'm going to understand, I'm going to evaluate everything that happens throughout this week. I'm going to understand that I'm either receiving or giving a gift, and I'm going to be open in my expression of that, and everybody is deserving. I'm not going to parse out who's deserving and who's not based on uh, some set of principles that I may have. I am going to understand, just as Christ did, that everyone is deserving and everyone is worthy of love and compassion. And especially as we uh, go into this season when we celebrate the birth of Christ and uh, all the wonderful gifts that he gave us, this is a wonderful time to emulate him in the way that we interact with all of our fellow human beings around us and give Give the gift of compassion, give the gift of forgiveness, give the gift of love, and give the gift of a conversation. There's so many wonderful things we can do to brighten and enlighten other people's day in so many ways, and especially those that may be in a situation where they have some challenges in their life and uh, people look at them as not being very deserving. But we understand that we as New Thought students, we like to follow Christ the way shower and be Christ the way shower in all the ways that he was and see that everyone is deserving and everyone is lovable. And the good news is that there is a gift of giving in every act and every action. The gift of listening, the gift of sharing the spoken word, the gift of a smile, the gift of giving love, the gift of receiving love. 
all things are a gift, all things are appreciable for the gifts that they are. Just as God gave the gift of Jesus Christ, the way shower, to his beloved children to show us the way to live these lives of great happiness, great health, great prosperity, and great love in all things, in all ways. So when you go for it this week, and especially a lot of us will be busy. I know I haven't done a lick of Christmas shopping yet, so I've got a lot of gifting to do, but uh, to understand that all of these things that we do, they're gifts, and we are giving and receiving every day in every way, and to understand that there is no undeserving person out there. We're all deserving, and we're all deserving of love, just as Christ wanted us, because we know we read in the scriptures that when Christ spoke, he mentioned many things, and he said, above all these, the most important of these is love. So take that with you this week. And I'd like to invite you to join me in prayer. We thank you, eternal and loving God, for the wonderful gifts that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for giving us the knowledge and the wisdom to understand and realize, to receive gifts with an open and receptive heart, and to give gifts with an open and receptive heart. We thank you, Lord, for blinding us to anybody that may be deemed unworthy, that everybody is worthy, that everybody is lovable, and that everybody is deserving of our love and our time and our concern and attention. We thank you, God, for these gifts, and above all, the gift of your wonderful Son, Jesus the Christ, the way shower. We thank you, Lord, in the name of faith, hope, and love. Amen. Amen.